Hi everybody, my name is Matthew. I'm the Director of Integrated Fishing Systems here at Lawrence in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I'm gonna walk you guys through a little bit of a setup of some networking um, that we use in the Lawrence products. So when we talk about networking, you know, a lot of guys ask, how do I connect this thing to that thing or that thing to this thing, whatever. Um, so in Lawrence, in our displays, in EliteFS and HDS uh, Pro, we have two kinds of networking, Ethernet and we have NEMA 2000. I'm going to show you quickly why we need both. So Ethernet is, um, you know, kind of our messaging system. So this is our Ethernet connector here. It's got our yellow connector on the end. These are quick twist lock waterproof connectors. Um, but this is sort of your kind of high data bandwidth data, things like pictures, images, that kind of stuff. So this is how you'll get, you know, your active target picture from your module to your display. This is how you'll share a CMAP chart card between two displays. So if you've got, you know, a display at your console and a display at your bow, and you want to only buy one CMAP card, uh, you know, you plug it into any SD card in the network through uh, Ethernet, it'll share that uh, cartography data. It's also how you plug in things like radars. Um, it's how you keep a live running database of all of your waypoints and stuff between um, Lawrence displays. So that's how um, you'll use Ethernet. The one we probably get the most questions about though is NEMA 2000. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about what a NEMA network is and how you set one up. But basically what you'll do is you'll buy a NEMA 2000 starter kit. That'll be this box right here. And you'll get a few T connectors and, and some other cables um, in that box. But basically NEMA 2000 is an industry standard that anybody who makes products for, uh, you know, for use in a, in a marine environment can make a device that sits on NEMA 2000. Um, that's what we call it. So those are kind of standard, standard messages that, you know, basically anything that's on NEMA 2000 can hear, listen, understand, react to, whatever. Um, so this is more sort of low data bandwidth data. So if you think about like your digital depth and temperature numbers, your RPMs and temperatures from your outboard, um, you know, telling your audio system volume up, volume down, skip track, whatever, telling a, a Lowrance trolling motor, turn left here, turn right there. All of that stuff is, you know, a lot less uh, data than what you're gonna get in, in ethernet. So that's why it goes over NEMA 2000. Um, but the NEMA council, um, you know, sets how we build these networks. So the most basic part is gonna be what we call a T connector. That's this little guy right here. Um, so you'll have one of these for every device in your boat that you wanna to connect to NEMA 2000. Um, so these build what we call a backbone. So what you'll do is you'll just take them and plug them together in a line um, so that you have a, a T connector for every device that you want uh, to connect. So just plug them together like that. They all have threads on the connectors, so they all just sort of twist lock to lock into place. Um, but this is a pretty basic NEMA 2000 backbone right here. If you have more devices, you'll have more T's, obviously. So you'll have one for every device you want to connect. Then you'll also get what we call terminators. So these are just little 120 ohm resistors that go on the end of a backbone. So you'll just plug one into one end and one in to the other end. Um, and these just kind of put a stop on your, your backbone so that the network knows, hey, this is the end of the T, right? So you'll only put them on the ends. If you end up with an empty uh, drop on a, on a backbone or something up here, don't plug them in up here. You'll cause problems with your NEMA network, but they're designed to go on the end of the backbones like this. Um, the next piece you'll have is what we call a drop cable. So these come in a whole bunch of different links, um, but these are how you'll connect your devices, whether it's you know a 0.1 antenna, a Lowrance trolling motor, um, your outboard, your displays, that's how you'll connect those things to your backbone. So you'll have one of these that goes from a T to the device all over the boat, wherever you've got um, things you want to plug in. The last piece um, that's going to come with your starter kit is going to be the power cable. So this NEMA backbone actually has to have its own 12 volt um, power supply sent to it. So this is pretty standard, just, you know, positive and negative red and black on one end with a fuse and then the NEMA 2000 connector on the other end, right? So what you'll do is you'll take this and you'll actually plug this into one of these drops on this backbone. If I can find the key there, there we go. Screw it in place so it's locked into. So you'll have one of these dedicated for power and then you'll have other T's for all your drops to your other devices. So one thing you'll wanna do, um, especially if you have a larger backbone, you know, a handful of displays plugged in here or a handful of T's plugged in here, is you'll wanna take this power and put it as close to the center of the backbone as you can get it. So that way you're getting equal power distribution to both sides of the network uh, once you get that power put in. So that's just a quick overview of NEMA 2000 and ethernet and why you need both.